all God's people, I want to welcome you tonight again to the altar of mercy. I want to thank the Lord for you. I want to thank him for every great thing he has done in your life and for greater works he's about to do. I want you to know I'm excited coming to you tonight. And I believe the Lord that your life will never, never, ever be the same again in the precious name of Jesus. Please, as you come in tonight, invite your friends. We're going to have a beautiful time in the glory of God. Something is about to happen to you. Invite somebody to come in. Church here from LMA, thank you for coming. Uju from Enugu. Shinelo from Enugu. The former from Lagos, thank you for coming in. Blessing from Port Harcourt. You carry her from Akwanga. You have been faithful coming in every night. Rosalind from Eneka, thank you for coming in. I'm grateful to God for you. Something will happen to you tonight in the precious name of Jesus. As you come in, invite somebody else to come in. Just tag somebody immediately. Share with somebody immediately. Uh, Deborah from Port Harcourt, you're welcome. Nono Barry from Port Harcourt, you're welcome. Sarah from Port Harcourt, you're welcome. Everywhere you're coming in. Habiba from Las Vegas. Ijeoma from Asaba. Uh, Josephine from Port Harcourt. Matilda from Port Harcourt. Ebi Weni from Port Harcourt. Amakri from Port Harcourt. Cynthia from Lagos. Uh, Malik from Doha. Beatrice from Lagos. Full Ajin from Douala, Douglas from Port Harcourt, Kevin from Taiwan, Rufus from Lagos, Nancy from Port Harcourt, Dumo from Manchester. Everywhere you are coming in, I want to say I welcome Emily from Port Harcourt, Sandra from Ebema, Rosine from Port Harcourt. Tonight, the hand of God is coming upon you. You are, uh, your testimony is coming through. Fine country from Port Harcourt. Emily from Nairobi, Kenya. Joy from Oyibo. Uh, Atamba from Port Harcourt. Bibi from Port Harcourt. Akara from Port Harcourt. Emily from Port Harcourt. Praise Matthew from Lagos State. Joy from Port Harcourt. Opwene from Bayelsa. Nembe. I hope the flood is not affecting you guys too badly over there. Blessing from One. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, Ogochuku from Port Harcourt, Obong from Port Harcourt. Everywhere you are coming in from, please tag somebody, invite them. Fidelis, you're welcome. Rosalind, you're welcome from Port Harcourt. I want to believe God. Daniel from Port Harcourt. Uh, somebody is about to be changed, lifted, blessed tonight on the authority of Jesus in the precious holy name of Jesus. Maka, Pole, Kretea, Kabal, Labro, Kosehe. Ngabala broko soto rekashaha. Can you lift up your voice and begin to thank him? Begin to thank the Lord. Ma ambroko saha. The Bible says, enter his presence with thanksgiving. Enter his cause with praise. Be grateful. Be thankful unto him. And bless his holy name. For our God is worthy to be praised. Opo yamata begin to celebrate him. Makika kapala broko sekiantala boshkia. Thank him for life. Thank him for grace. Thank him for mercy. Thank him for forgiveness of sin. Thank him for healing. Thank him for deliverance. Ngabala toko rikika eleko manaka palabro kozon kotrebosh kiantaha eyeko kapara katea ezo kapa le imbrokoso katalagashia e kakura katea gabaha la ambrokon sontoho what a mighty god we serve heaven and earth adore him Angels bow before him. E yakope rekopra in kataladoskia. Jaga bala broko so kikataha. E baka korakatika. Je embrakan son krokoto reboskia. Zale gebra e kato rokosia. Je e kakakara katika kopehe. Ma ambrokon son krokoto reboskia. Azeko kapala krakatiako. Eleke mana kapale brokon zon kantiata. Je gabala broko so kiantala kapaha. La koko karakatia. Ganshim Brokon Trabuskia. 
ma ambroko toroboskia yakaka kakaka hallelujah that's what my song will be e yandele broko santra boskia that's what my song will be anoka manaka pala broko zoka prahiakata ja ankra katarabuskia begin to release hallelujah to him begin to release hallelujah to him e jo bala broko saki ankaka who is like you lord in all the earth ma ambroko trobo sambra kantra boskia kaha ma amba kantra boskia kaha much less love ma ambroko trobo skira kababa shinkra here ma ambroko tro am beauty you are the co paraka trabushkia ze inkre kete 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 Ma ambroko sokata, e jambra kataraboskia, le e brakataraboskia, your grace is unending, your mercy is unending. Ma ambroko to reboskia, in your light we see light. Ma ambroko to kapata kata 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 ka, e shaproko zakata la gabaya, o brokonte eke nakanka akoshin krekenti akapaha, abolete, 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 e gangrakato, e gangrakato, o roko shon kambali broko. Kozo kataha aye kaka pala broko so krahinte ya eja bala to 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 la kapala brakate ya Jesus we love you male broko zon tarabashi ya ha we bow our hearts before you we lay our treasures at your feet ma ambra kan kala kose ki ya kaha ja kake kakara kati ya kaha it's in you we live. It's in you we move. It's in you we have our being. Iyandele ko para katia kabaha. You are the center of our joy. You are the love of our lives. Everyone, go ahead and talk to him. Me kapala broko to reboski ha. Jaka ke kakara katia ha. Me lo broko so kambra hinkata ha. Jaka prohoto ha. Thank you, Father. You know, everywhere you are listening to me by radio, or you are watching. Anywhere, I want to welcome you to the altar of mercy tonight. I want you to know my Jesus loves you. I want you to know he cares about you. I want you to know he's about to do something awesome in your life. I want you to know you're not going to escape his touch tonight in the name of Jesus. Those of you that listen by radio, my name is George Izumwa, lead pastor Gateway International Church in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. And I want you to know that on this altar, God is revealing his mercy to people. So please share this immediately. Get on Facebook, get on YouTube at Pastor George Izumwa and at George Izumwa and share my page with people. I want you to know that God is about to do something in your life. And as you share, you are going to collect something. It's 100% sharing. You connect, you share, you collect. You connect, you share, you collect. You connect, you share, you collect. I believe God, something is happening. So anywhere you are listening by radio, you are welcome. This is the altar of mercy. We come to you on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The time is 11 p.m. until 12 midnight. Your life will never, never be the same again. You see, uh, you know, many of us don't understand the revelation of mercy. In Romans chapter 9, verse 15 and 16, the Bible says, He said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. He says, So then, it's not to him that will it or to him that run it. It's unto God that shows mercy. Why was Moses mentioned there? Because Moses was the giver of the law. Moses was the person that a God of judgment manifested so strongly in his life, in his assignment, in his ministry with Israel. And then God had to introduce himself to Moses. You remember in Exodus chapter 34, when the Bible says God passed by, if I verse 6 says, and the Lord passed by before him and proclaimed the Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, abundant in goodness and truth. That's God coming to Moses after years of Moses serving him and said, let me introduce myself to you. You have known me as the lawgiver. You have known me as a person you must worship. You have known me as the one that brought you out of Egypt and I did terrible things in Egypt to bring you out. And you are scared of me, but you have never known me as one that is merciful, gracious, long-suffering, abundance in goodness and truth. He said, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and we by no means clear the guilty. Now, this is God. He says, I don't clear the guilty. 
The guilty has to repent. The guilty has to come back to me and ask for mercy. I'm not just going to wave it away. They have to acknowledge your sinfulness and failures and come back. And then I will show them mercy. I don't know who you are out there, but you are on the altar of mercy. The God I serve. The God whose name is holy. The God who breaks yokes and takes away bondages. The one who sent his son to die on the cross. He will show you mercy today. Let's begin again with the prayer we always pray. Oh God, show me mercy. Lift your hand and say, Father, I come to you today. I want to walk in the revelation of your mercy. Father, I have known you in different ways, but I ask tonight, reveal yourself as the God of mercy in my life, in my business, in my career, in my marriage. Jesus, let me test of your mercy tonight. Open your mouth and talk to him. It's of the lost masses that we are not consumed. His masses, the fair not, they reset every morning. Makapele brakata raboshkia. Zakika kakahaha. They are reactivated every day. Jane kubalata la kapale brokotoho. Jikakia krakataha. Lord, show me mercy tonight. Malebo rakata. Ingreke to koko to katakata. E jabro okontola akambayako. Ile kape kubrahasa. Thank you, Father. Now, everywhere you are watching me, I want to remember that tonight is a communion service. All through this week, the team is let the blood speak for me. So I want you to get a little bread or cracker biscuit and get a little wine that we're going to use tonight. And by the time we are done, the mercy of God will be manifest in your life in a very, very definite way. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. You know... Those of you that are listening to me, one of the things I keep saying to the people I pastor is that one of the keys to the miraculous is atmosphere. It's a key to an encounter. You see, when the atmosphere of glory is where you are, it's easy for you to encounter the mercy of God, the goodness of God, the power of God, the love of God, the life of God. But when a negative spiritual atmosphere is operating where you are, it becomes challenging. It becomes challenging. You know, uh, sometimes you got to realize that the, the, the first move of the spirit is always atmosphere, changing the atmosphere. Coming, you know, in Acts chapter 2 from verse 1, in the day of Pentecost, the Bible says he came like a mighty rushing wind. The first thing he arrested was the atmosphere, and then there was an outpouring. The moment the atmosphere is overshadowed, things begin to happen. What happened in Genesis chapter 1? The Bible said God created. The earth became formless and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. What, did, what happened? The spirit of God came, began to brood over that and began to change the atmosphere. Then God spoke and light came. There's somebody that's listening to me right now. The atmosphere around where you are is negative. The atmosphere carries a demonic energy. There is a presence of strange altars. There is a presence of strange territorial spirits. There's a presence of monitoring spirits. There's a presence of ancestral yokes and bondages. Anywhere you are, I want you to just say, Father, by the blood of Jesus, any negative atmosphere around me right now, I address it by your spirit. I command every power in the environment hindering the traffic of spirits, hindering the move of God. You evil power, I arrest you. I break your hood. I break your hood. I break your hood by the blood of Jesus. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Open your mouth and attack that territorial spirit. Attack that ancestral spirit. Attack that demonic atmosphere. Attack that follow follow monitoring devil. Kamashaka talabala broko to her. Jikakarakati kakapaha. A broko 
Kosso Kanana Kantia, Jigaga Balabro Kotoha, Mile Boro Koto Rakatia, Jikaka Karakatia, Bezo Bro in Kankan Krakatia, Ji in Cricket Rebosaha, Lieko Para Antre Hikaho, Lakaka Kurakatia, Je Embro Koto Rebosa Kiante, Miyako Ponto Rakataha, Jakia Cricketia, Kobolete Ikaka, Ya Ante, La Ante, La Ante, Ante in Hong Kong King Kinki, Yago Barata, Somebody shall fire. Where you are, shall fire. Ketura Basahata, shall fire a third time. Manoko Parakatea, shall fire a fourth time. Lego Badagada Gada Gada, shall fire a fifth time. Imbroso Kanalakata, shall fire a sixth time. Bale Brokoto Reboshkia, shall fire the seventh time. Now stretch your hand toward me. Some of you are going to have deliverances right now. There's a woman right now. Your body will begin to vibrate. Your body will begin to vibrate. Your body will begin to vibrate. Ma ankre kete reboshkia. Zikaka karakatia kapa le embrokoto hapm. Mia amprokoto. There are somebody that's watching me right now. Sweat, sweat is going to fill your body. Without walking out, without doing anything, just where you are right now, you're going to see water, sweat pouring out of your system. That's the power of God. Something is leaving you right now. Something is walking out of your body right now. Jateleka parakatikaha. I come against every altar. I come against every coven. I come against every evil covenant. I come against every monetary spirit. I I come against every territorial spirit. I come against every familiar spirit. Whatever less claim to the atmosphere where you are living, on the authority of Jesus, I rebuke it right now. I command the atmosphere to clear. I command the atmosphere to shift right now. Kale bro zana kiangrekete atmosphere shift right now. Katorebo sakiakaha resident demons get out. Resident demons get out. Resident demons get out. Jatele kapara kata somebody your body begins to vibrate right now. Deliverance is coming up right now. Jatele kapara katia kapaha somebody begins to vomit right now. What is inside you is coming up right now. You have been eating strength things in your dream. Eating strength things in your dream right now. There's going to be physical vomit. Meeting my antraboskia as a sign of what happened in the realm of the spirit. I command what entered you to come out. I command what entered you to come out. I command what entered you to come out. Mashekeke parakatea, Zakopro on Traboskia, Jikaka Karakatika, Metroboso Kabrahikata, Jikaka Krakete Reboskia, Belebra Katakaha, Jakika Koroko to he, Milebo Rakata Kata, Jin Krakete Reboskia, Zatele Kopaha, La. Krakata, come out, 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 Neko Parakata. A snake will crawl out of somebody right now. You're going to see it with the eyes of your vision, with the eyes of the spirit, walking out of your body. You were in a dream and something entered you like a snake. I command that thing to come out. I command that strength to come out. I command it come out. In the name of Jesus, come out. Come out right now. Katurabashaha. Zaka kaparakatea. Let the fire begin to burn in your body. Let the fire begin to burn in your body. Let the fire begin to burn in your body. Let the fire begin to burn in your body. Mateleka parakataha. Ji in kreketehe. There's a man lying on the bed. A spirit is going to walk out of you right now. A spirit is going to walk out of you right now. Jatele kaparakata. A dark thing looking as if he's wearing a hoodie is walking out of you right now. It's not a skeleton. It's like a a huge man is walking out of you right now. I bind that spirit. I bind that spirit. I bind that spirit. I command that spirit to get out. 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 Now in the name of Jesus. There are somebody who keep clearing your truth as if there is a bone on your truth and the doctors told you there's a growth inside the truth. Whatever mystery entered you, I command it to come out right now. On the authority of Jesus, Mateleka parakatea, Jaankre keteribosuhu, Minaka parakata, Minaka parakata, Minaka parakata, Jaka keteribosuhu, Leko parakatea, there's a lady that is watching me, wounds all over your private region, wounds all over your private 
region. Wounds, festering sores all over your private region. I bind the spirit of hell. I bind the power behind it. I command it to get out right now. Satan, the Lord rebuke you. The blood is against you. The blood is against you. The blood is against you. Somebody shall Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Somebody shall Satan, the blood is against you. The blood is against you. The blood is against you. Open your mouth and release the blood. Matele Kabarakatia, Jokopere Katia. Let the evil atmosphere get out in the name of Jesus. Now, the issue is not just about the evil atmosphere going out. Hear me now. The issue is not just about the evil atmosphere going out. The issue also is about the right atmosphere. The atmosphere of glory. The atmosphere of the power of God. The Bible said, upon every dwelling place of Zion and upon her assemblies will be the pillar of cloud by day and pillar of fire by night. He said, the glory shall be for a defense. So there's a glory that comes and your destiny is defended. There's a glory that comes and your destiny is enhanced. There's a glory that comes and your destiny is, you know, is shifted, is lifted. You need that glory atmosphere to come into your life. You need that glory atmosphere to come into your life. Ma angrekete reboshaha. You need that glory invasion everywhere you are right now. Lift your hand above your head and say, Almighty God, I need the glory invasion. Invent my life with your glory. Invent my life with your power. Invent my life with your spirit. Open your mouth and go ahead and welcome, 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 welcome the glory of God in the presence of the in the pre person of the Holy Ghost. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Kateko to Lama and Drebosia, Jagarekotahi, Igreko to Manan Kapalaha, Iege, 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 Rikaparakatia, welcome him, Ayako Perekota. You may not understand what is happening right now, but things are happening. Spiritual shifts are happening. Hey, kaparakataha, ya kaparakotoa. Supernatural moves are going on right now. Heneko manakapaha. I don't have to mention your case, but Jehovah is at work right now. Kayego barakatika kaha. Metoboda bada metopataha. Jangrekete rebosaha. Likoka karakatia. The ambrokoto. In the atmosphere of the glory, your answer will be delivered. In the atmosphere atmosphere of the glory, your joy will be restored. In the atmosphere of the glory, your healing will happen. In the atmosphere of the glory, your breakthrough will happen. Matele Kapaha, when the waters are steered, when the waters are steered, strange things happen. Ma in the New Testament, when the waters are steered, it's not just the first person that enters. Everybody can enter at the same time and everybody can encounter it at the same time. The waters are being steered right now. There's an atmosphere of the steering of the glory. Hey, Jahataha, Likata Parakatea, Jahankrekete Beboskia, eyes begin to open, legs begin to walk, Yaka Parakatea, heart conditions begin to resolve, Minaka Parakatea Kaha, Jekoka Kaha, cancers begin to die, Hayakata Kataka Kaha, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory, the glory. Glory, the glory, Ikapotolakasha. Now, everywhere you are, if you have not shared this, share it immediately. This is 100% sharing. You connect, you share, you collect. Don't play with that. You connect, you share, you collect. Somebody out there needs the touch of God. Somebody out there needs this to come to him. The person may not watch it this night. May watch it tomorrow. Watch it another day. And the power of God will reach the person. The power of God will break the yoke in the life of that person. Every day on the altar of mercy is a day of lifting for somebody. Those of you that are listening by radio, the person's voice we are hearing is George Izuma, lead pastor, Gateway International Church in my four Port Harcourt. We come to you Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It's called the altar of mercy. It's our midnight cry. And you can join us 11 p.m. until 12 midnight. 
please make this a place of spiritual warfare. There are different kinds of prayers, and we pray a lot in worship and supplication. But when we come here in the night, it's not worship and supplication. It's violence of faith. It's spiritual warfare. It's sanitizing of destinies. So please follow us on this, and Jesus will do a new thing in your life. Make sure you are sharing this. Make sure you are inviting your friends. I was talking to you about atmosphere. You see, every testimony we get is being the atmosphere of God is stirred up. Now, if you are hearing me, and you have not shared their testimony, share it immediately. Send me your testimony. Now, there are some of you, I just came back from a trip. I've not been able to upload the things uh, you have had. But I've seen at least two of you with your, uh, what do you call it now, video and uh, uh, voice messaging and videoing and all of that of your testimonies. I appreciate that. If you can send us one minute video of what God has done for you, please do that. Take a phone, have a good background, and just talk. That's all. Share your story. Be authentic about it. That's all we need. So anyway, you are do that. You can send a voice message note. If you send a voice note, add your picture to it. Or add a picture of what happened. We, and uh, we're going to have that. And we're going to share it. Now, you can send me this on pastorgateway at yahoo.com. Pastorgateway at yahoo.com. My name is George Izumwa. The church is Gateway International Church. So, Pastor Gateway, one word, at yahoo.com. So, please get that across. I want to hear from you. Or, right as I'm talking to you, you can use 0702 5000 Please just send us a message on WhatsApp right now. Let's know the things that God has done for you. Every time the atmosphere of glory is stirred up, something begins to happen. I saw this uh, message. Uh, 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 it came in PDF form, but it's on an email. It said, my name is Emily from Nairobi, Kenya. Now it said, I joined the altar of mercy this year, around July. I bumped into a link at midnight while the prayers are ongoing on Facebook. I got curious and listened to the link. The prayers were powerful. And from that time, she became one of us. And you maybe just bumped on us today and you're one of us. He said, I have two testimonies from Kenya, Nairobi. He said, on Friday, 14th October, 2022, during the midnight prayer, you mentioned my cousin's case. You said there is someone, listen to me. You have a relative who is in a psychiatric hospital. One of the family members accompanied the one who had psychiatric issue. But upon reaching the hospital, the two relatives had psychiatric issues. He said what you say was very true. And that's exactly what happened. The twins were admitted in psychiatric hospital. These twins are very sharp boys. They are university in university pursuing top courses in sciences. The devil afflicted with madness. I posted their names online and in YouTube. Ian and Ellen Odongo, and you pray for them. The twins were discharged immediately and are doing well since then. That is number one. The second testimony. In, when the atmosphere comes in, everything changes. I don't know who you are right now. And there's an issue of shame happening in your family. Before we get to a second testimony, I want to you stretch your hand toward me and say it cannot continue. These are two young people. One got mental. The other went to take care of him and became mental. And they're twins. Two twin, twin boys. On the graduate university. The devil wanted to wreck their lives. But in the atmosphere of the glory of God, something broke in their lives. Katorebo shiaka. Leimbroko turakata. There's an Oku family that's listening to me. Something like what you just read now is breaking in your family. 
is breaking in your family. The spirit of madness is lifting away from your family. There's a woman that's listening to me right now. You have two daughters that are married and none of them has pregnancy. That yoke is breaking right now in this atmosphere of the glory of God. There's a man that's watching me right now. You are sure that shift. You are sure that shift. You are sure that shift. Anything you try to do that is heavy, you are sure that shift. So you keep keeping your, you don't use anything that has to do your, with your shoulder. But in the atmosphere of this glory, that yoke is breaking right now. That yoke is breaking right now. That yoke is breaking right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus Christ, somebody, you, 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 when you urinate, the, the, the thing looks terrible and it keeps smelling. It, it's, as if, it's as if something terrible is coming out of your system. The stench is unbearable and you just don't know how to handle it. In the atmosphere of this glory, that evil thing is dying. Your body is being restored. Stretch your hand toward me and say, Father, in the atmosphere of your glory, let the let the shame be taken away. Let the pain be taken away. Let the darkness depart. Let my life be renewed. Every power contending with my destiny in the atmosphere of the glory. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Open your mouth and speak right now. Ja somebody shall fire in the atmosphere of the glory of God, the yoke is destroyed. If you have not shared, they share it. Anyone with a testimony, pastorgatewayayahoo.com pastorgatewayayahoo.com or 0702-5000-950. Please don't forget, it's a communion service tonight. So get bread and wine ready for the communion. Let me read the second part of... Uh, Emily's testimony from Nairobi, Kenya. In fact, she shared this. I think we're going to put it on Facebook maybe tomorrow. She showed the date, showed the clips of her, the word, showed when she wrote her, uh, the brothers, the, the cousins names and what God did on that day. Now she said the second testimony. On the same day, Friday, 14th October, 2022, you mentioned my case. You said there is someone listening to me that the devil doesn't want to graduate. The devil is doing everything to ensure that you do not graduate. You made declarations and broke the siege. You released my answers and commanded the help of God. Man of God, that was me. I enrolled for master's degree in 2013. I have never graduated nine years later. I've been experiencing delays. My name will miss in the list of students who are defending. I made an appeal to the university and nothing was forthcoming. After the Friday, 14th October prayers, this morning, that is October, uh, that's Tuesday, October 25, I received a call from the university that I am scheduled to defend. No, that was on Monday, October, 20, uh, October 24. I received a call from the university that I am supposed to defend. And I have scheduled my defense for Wednesday, 26 October. My prayer now is that my thesis will pass with flying chorus that I graduate this December 2022. I don't know who the devil has been fighting. In one night, in the atmosphere of the glory and mercy of God, she got two answers. Her cousins, God answered. Her life, God turned around and released her graduation. Now listen. She said she started watching in July. It didn't happen the first week. It didn't happen the second week. But she persisted in the atmosphere of God. And God began to walk in her life. Somebody out there that is feeling discouraged, calm down. God sees you. And God is going to answer you. I want you to speak up right now and say everything in my life that is crawling. Everything in my life that is delayed. Everything in my life 
that is taking longer than necessary. I come out right now. Be hastened by the hand of God. Relationship be hastened. Employment be hastened. Business be hastened. Career be hastened. Now, in the precious name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to speak right now. Whatever is making that issue to crawl, crush it right now. Take authority over any mystery. Take authority over any bondage. Take authority over any curse that's making you to be delayed. You are marking time. Nine years it took her to do a one-year course. Every year they delay, they delay, they delay, they delay. Open your mouth and attack the root of the delay. On the authority of Jesus, in this atmosphere of the glory of God, in this atmosphere of the mercy of God, every issue of shame, Every issue of delay, every issue of denial, let the hand of God break it. Open your mouth and attack it. In shaka parakatea, zeko manaka parata, in kaka karakatea, jo belebra kataha, zako porokontea, ne kaka karakatea, jo barakatea, lia kabaha, lege kaka 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 Hey, let the yoke break by the power of God. I command that yoke to break. I command the evil hand to be cut off. I command your testimony right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mary sent a testimony. She said, good evening, Papa. This thing works. Somebody out there shout, this thing works. Somebody out there shout, this thing works. He said, I had a terrible accident in December, on December 25, 2002. That's 20 years ago. And my life has never been the same ever since that incident. But God showed me mercy. Papa, to cut a long story short, on Thursday the 13th, you mentioned my case on the altar of mercy. Saying there's somebody, the peculiar pain you had after the accident, something broke into your skull. It is gone right now. He said, I am here to testify of the mercy and goodness and faithfulness of God. That night, it just went. The peculiar movement left. Something that looked like something broke into your skull, gone. Healing totally delivered. He said, Papa, thank you for your service in Christ. Thanks unto the Holy Jesus Christ. Everywhere you are listening to me, I come to you in the name of Jesus. There's an atmosphere of the mercy of God that is coming to you. You don't have to qualify to receive it. Just stretch your hand toward me and let your amen be louder than your neighbors. I speak in the name of Jesus. Whatever the devil invested in your body is leaving you right now. I command right now, in the name that's above every name, let the cancer go. Let the diabetes go. Let the high blood pressure now become normal. Let the bleeding condition be arrested. Let the fibroid melt away. In the precious name of Jesus, strange movements on somebody's body, get out right now. In the precious name of Jesus, in the precious name of Jesus, terrible backache, go now. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. My Ambro Koturebuskia, a Patrick that's listening to me, that's having a problem with impotence. The yoke is broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Makope e krikete rebosaha. Jakia krikete rebosaha. Madeko panaka prahito. Eje krikete There are four people that lost their jobs. I'm speaking right now. Recover your jobs. In the precious name of Jesus. Matele krikete. There's a shop. There's a shop that is like no business is going on in that shop. It's as if the devil used the demonic padlock and locked the spiritual gate of that shop. In the precious name of Jesus, I command the doors of the shop to open. I command instantly. Let business begin right now. Let profiting begin immediately. In the precious name of Jesus. Kelechi wrote, I'm here again to tell God thank you. 
my brother has been having deep cough for a very long while. She didn't mention the time. He said, one of the nights, we are praying on the altar of mercy. Papa, you said anyone having any sickness, should put anointing oil in water and drink it. My brother drank it. Since that day, the deep cup dropped, disappeared. I return all the glory to God. I return all the glory to God. As we take the communion tonight, every infirmity will be leaving you right now. Every yoke of hell will be leaving you right now. In the precious name of Jesus, Chingwe testified. He said, I and my husband did interview with two different companies and we have been waiting for feedback since August. I have consistently brought it on the, to the altar of mercy and always keep in where you say carry your jobs. To the glory of God, my husband received his letter uh, that was last week, Monday, to resume this week, Monday. I guess he has resumed. I have come to return all the glory to God, and I know mine will come in no time. Everywhere you are listening to me, stretch your hand toward me. Every expectation that you have, that the devil wants to cut off, I command the expectation to be returned. I command the yoke to be broken. I decree right now, your expectation will not be cut off. Your expectation will not be cut off. Your expectation will not be cut off. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. She Dozier said, good afternoon, daddy. This thing works. You have been declaring that we get jobs that we didn't apply for. Middle of last month, I get a call to send my details, which I did immediately. On the 29th of last month, I got a call from one of the oil and gas companies congratulating me that I was among the persons that passed the interview that I never went for and that I should come the following day for an induction. They asked for him to send the CV to the company. He sent the CV. Now they sent him a mail congratulating him for passing an interview he has not been called. And they asked him to come for an induction. He went to the venue. They briefed him on the job. And he's supposed to be walking from home. And he has been walking from home. And he said, this month of September, I've gotten my first salary. I have come to return all the glory to God. Thank you, Daddy. May the Lord increase you on every side. I stretch my hand toward you. Everywhere you are right now. He said, he said sometimes God can be humorous. <laughs> they say, send the CV. He sent the CV to the company. And they sent him a congratulatory letter for an interview that he has not attended. And asked him to come and resume work. If now you want to resume, will you write them and correct them? I stretch my hand toward you. On the authority of the one who died and who rose from the dead, I command exceptional favor. I command strength doors to open. I command the lifting hand of God to rest upon you. Take your testimony. Emmanuel said, My name is Emmanuel. Since the month of April, I've been having severe pains in my legs, inside my bones. It looks as though it moves up and down. As a teacher, I find it difficult to stand up each time I squat to write on the board. I said praying about it during the midnight cry. But I just realized yesterday that I can't find the pains anymore. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Ego badakataha. Je imprakaturo. Everywhere you are, send your testimonies very quickly. I will not continue. I have, believe me, I have more than 15 testimonies that are here. I want to believe God that your own is part of them. I can't continue for now. Let me get into today's issue. Those listening to us on radio, my name is George Izumwa. I'm the lead pastor of Gateway International Church. This is called the altar of mercy. The atmosphere of this altar is the mercy of God. God says, I will have mercy on whom I'll have mercy. I'll show compassion on whom I'll show compassion. And I want to believe God today that you are going to have the mercy of God. You're going to walk in the compassion of God. Your expectations will not be cut off in the precious holy name of Jesus. So please, if you're in Port Accord, join us at Gateway Church this very Sunday. First service is 6.30. Second service, 8 a.m. Third service, 9.30. Fourth service, 11 a.m. And fifth service is by 1 p.m. At 3032 Elik Pramwa Road, off Ada George Highway, in the wimpy axis of my four Port Every one of you, you can join us and experience God 
in the power of his spirit. Now, if you cannot come to the headquarters, we have about 40-something branches inside Port Harcourt. We have in Lagos, Abuja, and different areas, but inside Port Harcourt, we have about 40-something branches. You can join any one of them. Some have three services, some have four, some have two. Minimum of them have two services. Everyone, you can join there and experience God. At least you will hear my voice on the screen in one of the services, and I permit the pastors to preach either two or more of the services, depending on the size of their churches. I want to trust the Lord. Wherever you are right now, God can reach out to you. You can have an encounter of grace through the platform. But even if you can't come to Gateway, be a member of the altar of mercy. Join us. Some of you uh, need to connect more deeper. I'm going to talk to you about that later. Now, those of you that are outside Nigeria, you know, I was in, I was in Douala the other day, and somebody traveled, had us on the altar of mercy, and traveled almost six hours to come to the place in Douala. And the pastor of the church was giving a story. When I arrived, he told me, he said, you are not here when this guy gave a testimony. After the first night of the ministration in Douala, the person came with, uh, what do you call it now, uh, tubes all around the stomach because of what the devil was doing in the person's body. And the power of God broke through. He came six hours. How we God leave him without a testimony? And broke through and got the person healed. I was in Chicago over the week and uh, from uh, uh, Wednesday and all that. And some of you heard me in the U.S. and you came. I'm grateful to God that you came to be with us in the meeting. Now, those of you out there, this Friday, I'll see you in South Africa. You can come to me and all that. I'll give you a detail about it tomorrow. But I want to trust the Lord. The power of the Holy Ghost is going to reach you. Now, if you're in Medugri, I'll be there joining the DGO of a Redeemed Christian Church of God in the light of Boruno Crusade. I'll be preaching on Thursday. I want you also to join in the meeting. We're going to trust the Lord that every one of us are going to encounter God in a mighty, mighty, marvelous way. So please, connect deeper. Be part of what God is doing in our lives. And then we can experience God together. Everywhere you are, please don't miss it. Now, all through this week, our team is let the blood speak for me. I'm sure you know there's a speaking blood. It's called the blood of Jesus. It's called the blood of sprinkling that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I declare over you today that blood will speak for you. If you have not shared this right now, share immediately. Share immediately. Share immediately. Share this immediately. Just click share. Tag somebody. List out the names of the people. Tag them. It's 100% sharing. You connect, you share, you collect. And please, those of you that are watching, please show that you are watching. Make a comment. Come alive. Let's know that you are part of what God is doing. Don't just watch in a shadow. Come in. Click the something and let's know you. And please set this, set this, set this, set this. My Ankara Katarabuskia, set this. Uh, a notification so that you can always get a notification out of what God is doing. So please don't forget, those of you that are in Borono area, I uh, will be with you on Thursday. Those in South Africa, I'll be with you on Friday. I will give you the details tomorrow. And then you'll see me in Port Harcourt next week when Dr. Paul Lenenche is with us also on a mega crusade, an open air crusade in Gateway International Church. So, get said, tonight we're dealing with let the blood speak for me. The blood of Jesus always speaks. The Bible says in Hebrews 12, 24, that it speaks better things than the blood of Abel. Now, tonight I'm dealing with just one area of the speaking of the blood. Exodus 12, 12 and 13. It says, when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Exodus 12. 12 and 13. He said, God was speaking. He said, I will pass through the land of Egypt this night. I will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. Kabodekia. 
akoko ikataka ikapoto ikantakata jage kreketura antangon grokoto reboskia ze koko katakata ya kambro honson ton din din diaka le koko karakata ya gombro inkantakato je kakakraha stretch your hand to me and say father let the blood speak for me let the blood speak for me let the blood of jesus the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things the blood of Abel, speak tonight over my life. Open your mouth and cry out to God. Whichever area you want the blood to speak, mention that area. Whatever you want the blood intervention, bring it right now. Jatele kaparakato, ijaka krekete reboskia, zikaka karakatika, metogoma nakabala krohi, jikaka karakatia, bele brokoto reboskia, jikaka korokotuku, bigadele koprohintia, jigaga kaparakatia, koto lobon trahintihi, jik Kaka karakati ya ha, bele prokoto remasa ha, ego godo gadaga, kayanko kukunja ha, blow speak over my marriage, blow speak over my fruitfulness, blow speak over my business, blow speak over my career, blow speak against the people fighting my destiny. Open your mouth right now, let the blow speak for me. Malego ya atakoto, igi gegaya, okonkon kiyakati ya ha, jabele brakatu ha, aso homo no mono godo gigi, jagaga, 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 Gaga jaga ga jaga ga jaga ga holoko toko toho e belonton kata ime doganda ga yatoke 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 o krokoto reboskia zape kakoro to hasha the blood speak for me the blood speak for me he said Egypt will be smitten I want to stretch a hand toward me and say every power of Egypt against my life the Lord smite you. Open your mouth and speak right now. Egypt must be smitten right now. Manoko parakatea. Every Egypt against your life. Every power of bondage. Every pharaoh against you. Every taskmasters against you. Every oppressor against your life. Egypt must be smitten. Manaka koperehia. Jakapa. Let the hand of God smite that Egypt. Now, in the name of Jesus, say, I will smite Egypt. He said, but while Egypt is in smitten, he said, I'm going to pass over you. There's a blood of exemption. That is what the blood speaks. It speaks exemption. You won't suffer what they suffered. Everywhere you are, stretch your hand toward me. Anything going on in your family that is negative, you won't participate. Anything going on in that company that's negative, you won't participate. If they're sacking people, they'll be promoting you. In the name of Jesus Christ, any infection, any evil report, you will not be part of them. The blood is compared to her. Zaka, somebody shall by the blood, I am exempted from every evil, from every destruction, from every darkness, from every hellish power. I am exempted by the speaking of the blood. Open your mouth and declare that. Meko badakasha. Lika koko poko to kagadake koshehi. Biyako bodo kanakata. Enkrato yoko be de kia. Da, 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 da. Peko brahikata. By the blood, I am exempted. But you see, it's not just the exemption. There's also the distinction. It's every time you're exempted in a good thing, in a bad thing, you are distinguished in a positive way. If you didn't die over something that happened, it promotes the grace in your life. It promotes the help of God in your life. Every time you are exempted, you are distinguished. Okay? So I want you to declare right now, in the name of Jesus, what brought them down will not bring me down. In the name of Jesus, while they are going down, I am going up. What a suffering I am enjoying. In the name of Jesus Christ, I will not participate in the negative. I will take the positive. Open your mouth and declare that. Because the blood is speaking for you right now. Are you set with your communion? If you are set with your communion, bring it out. Echo parata. Now, those of you that listen to me by radio, by 12 midnight, the radio will terminate. So about three, two minutes to 12, please search out my Facebook page at Pastor George Izungwa or my YouTube at George Izungwa and connect so that you can share a prayer request. I'm going to pray over it 
and trust the Lord that your story will change positively for good forever. Okay, believe God. While we are praying, the hand of God will be touching you. The power of God will be reaching you. And the yoke of darkness and death and wickedness will break it. Please just connect to us right now. Are you set? Now, you want to join us in the communion. That's beautiful. But this is the communion of the blood and body of Jesus. And I need you to first of all give your heart to Jesus. Surrender to him. Confess your sins and forsake them. Before you begin to share in this communion. If you are listening to me right now. And you know deep in your heart. That you are. That you are guilty. You are feeling outside of the circle of grace. You know deep inside you that your relationship with Jesus is not okay. You are born again and you walked away. Or you have never been born again before. Or there is an addiction in your life and you are trusting God to break it. Please stretch your hand toward me and say, Jesus, I am sorry the way I've lived my life. Forgive me. Set me free. I believe you died for me and you rose from the dead. I receive you as my Savior and Lord. Amen. Now, if you pray that prayer, reach me today, not tomorrow, not one week later, today, on pastorgatewayayahoo.com. Give me your detail, your phone number, and whatever. We will reach back immediately to you to know how we can help you build your Christian life. Or you can send a WhatsApp message on 0702 Every one of you that have a testimony, use the same WhatsApp line or email. PastorGatewayAyahoo.com or 0702-5000-950. Don't forget, if you're outside Nigeria, add plus 2343. Now, I'm sure you are set for the communion. Now, lift up that bread. Lift up that bread. In 1 Corinthians 11, 25 and 26, after the same manner also, he took the cup. Where he has stopped saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do you as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. What you are holding in your hand is the New Testament. Everything the covenants of God deliver is in that thing in your hand right now. You need to see that revelation. You need to believe that revelation. You have it right now. Verse 26 said in 1 Corinthians 11, It's as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do shoot the Lord's death he come. You manifest Calvary everywhere you take the communion. And whatever Calvary delivers is enforced in your life. Therefore now, as this communion enters you, sickness die, poverty die. Every demand you make on this blood, the blood speak over you. In the name of Jesus, you are exempted from destruction. You are distinguished into greatness by the walking, by the speakings of the blood in Jesus' name. Now break it. Now drink the wine. Take the wine. And mark your forehead with a cross. I declare over you right now. Let that mark on your head be a mark of destiny distinction. Evil will not get to you. Death will not approach you. Accidents will not be a portion. Kidnapping will not be a portion. In the name of Jesus, every arrow of the wicked against you back to the sender. Whatever entered you spiritually, I send it away right now. I command immediately. Your life be preserved by the power of God. Cervical cancer, die. Cervical cancer, die. Cervical cancer, die. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kayege telebo, die right now. Kaburu kutu ya ganshen ken Make a kappa lump at the back of somebody's head. Lump at the back of somebody's head. I command the lump to disappear. I command it to disappear. I command it to disappear. I command it to disappear. Now by the power of the resurrected Christ. Strange dreams cease now. Strange dreams cease now. Anyway, you have the blood still. Pour a little bit on the ground where you are. And say today. I sanctify this atmosphere 
by the blood of Jesus. I declare by the speakings of the blood, this atmosphere will not have a traffic of witchcraft. We not have a traffic of occult powers. We not have a traffic of evil. Never, 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 never by the speaking of the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ, I sanctify your atmosphere. And I release you from darkness. In Jesus' name. Now, everywhere you are, I want you to give God an offering. Please listen to me. This is an altar. This is an altar. And any time you approach an altar, there has got to be a sacrifice. Big or small. The priest of an altar, whether traditional or whatever, is not permitted to minister to you until your sacrifice has spoken. Any other thing is just conversation. But as a sacrifice speaks, there's your regular voices that you'll be hearing. I want you to please give something. If you are listening by radio, radio is about to terminate. But while you are hearing me now, drop a seed. The account number is, the account number is, First Bank, 314 314-517-4083. 314-517-4083. The account name is Gateway International Church. Any other account they told you, orphanage, whatever, is a fraud. I will never send you on that kind of errand with a strange prophecy. So don't listen to fools. Don't follow their pr prank. Please send that immediately and trust the Lord. Now those who want to sow a prophet's offering, the prophet we, you honor. You take what he carries. The prophet you honor, you take the blessing he delivers. The account name is George Izunwa, Echo Bank, 057 201 1753. I will talk to you tomorrow, especially about your giving. I want you to please be attentive to that when I finish ministering to you tomorrow. Please send your testimonies to pastorgatewayayahoo.com or 0702-5000-950. want to hear from you. Now, before we step away tonight, don't forget, as we close on the radio right now, we continue again tomorrow. It's Monday to Friday, every weekday. We are with you 11 to midnight, 11 p.m. to midnight. So please join us again tomorrow. Or shift immediately to uh, Yahoo, uh, sorry, at, uh, to Facebook at Pastor George Zuma or YouTube at George Zuma so you can continue in the encounter. Because in a few minutes now, I'm going to be taking prayer requests of people. So I'm just going to allow you to give your offering right now. While you are working on that, others are writing their prayer requests. And after that, I'll begin to pray on them. Radio people, I want to say thank you for tonight, for joining us. This is George Izungwa. And if you can, please join us at Gateway International Church. Join us at Gateway International Church at uh, 3032 Elipramwa Road, off Ada George Way, in the wimpy axis of my four Porter Court. You can come there. First service is 6.30 a.m. Second service is 8 a.m. Third service is 9.30 a.m. Fourth service is 11 a.m. And fifth service is 1 p.m. I want to encounter you. I want to see you come. My name is George Izumwa. I'm the lead pastor of the church. Five services on Sunday. Each one very short and very, very brutal. Please be there with us. We are brutal at the devil. I want you to please come. Now, if you can't come to headquarters and you're in Port Harcourt, we have over 40-something branches in the city of Port Harcourt. Not house leadership, church services every Sunday. Please find one. Anyone does a minimum of two services. Find one. In any location where you are, send us a message and we'll send you a location. And you'll be there this Sunday. 
Now those in Lagos send us a message. Abuja send us a message. Yenegua, oh Yenegua, I'm told you'll be having terrible flood. I've seen all kinds of pictures and we're praying for you. And we've tried to assist a few persons. Please, if there are people out there in Yenegua uh, that are going through any kind of thing, please, anyone that's listening to me, try and assist them, pray for them, give a gift to them, and all that. You can also reach our church branch over there and see that you help them to assist the ones that are assisting already. Glory to God. Okay, now, before I start praying over your prayer request, Let's go again to Isaiah 61, from verse 6 to 8. Isaiah 61, 6 to 8. Isaiah 61, 6 to 8 in the New Living Translation. I will pray this verse until everything inside the verse jumps out. Everything. Everything. If there's anything left in this verse, we're going to pray it until we see it. Anything left in the verse, we'll pray it until we see it. Anything that is found in this verse must experience us. So every one of you, please join us. He said you'll be called priests of the Lord, ministers of our God. you feed up the treasures of the nations. you feed up the treasures of the nations and boast in their riches. Instead of shame and dishonor, you will enjoy a double share of honor. You will possess a double portion of prosperity in your land and everlasting joy will be yours. Everywhere you are listening to me, pick up anything that represents money, physical cash, credit card, anything that's a point of contact to your business, your employment letter, your employment uh, ID card, pick anything. Pick what you sell in your business. Pick your business paper, whatever it is. I want you to please lift it up. You have a CV, lift it up. You have something that represents what you do. Lift it up. Please, whatever you are typing on the altar of mercy, whether I read it out or not, whether I pray on it or not, I want you to know this is an altar. As you drop it there, heaven read it. There are ministers of this altar, and they are not me. They are angels. There's an atmosphere of mercy on this altar, and that atmosphere will touch what you are writing. So just drop your request. I'll pick a few and read, but Jesus will answer everyone. So lift up that point of contact to your money. And say, in the name of Jesus, I am not going down. I am going up. I am doing mega business. Money is coming to me in billions and trillions. Breakthroughs everywhere. I will not suffer loss. I will not suffer loss. I will not have poverty or shame around me. I eat of the treasures of nations. I boast in their riches. Instead of shame and dishonor, I have double share of honor and a double portion of prosperity in the land. Money, come to me now in the name of Jesus from the east, the west, the north, the south. Money, come to me now in the name of Jesus. Now stretch the hand toward me. Ja kapuru to here. Jigagagala kateke paha. Bekraha. Debts are canceled. Debts are canceled. Debts are cancelled. Somebody listen to me. They won't repossess your car. The money is released right now. Somebody listen to me. They took you to court. They took you to court. But God is intervening for me. Somebody listen to you, me right now. You wrote an undertaking and you don't have the resources. God is stepping in right now. You will not be embarrassed. Huh? I speak over somebody now. Business breakthrough begin to come. Money begin to flow in. In the precious name of Jesus. Ah, Kebrohoto, Kevin, listen to me. God has intervened for you right now. Jatele kapara katea, jikaka kara kontrohia, melebro unkontra ikake yakoko, bedola kapadaka, jikaka krakatea, kombro kozo katea, kaka koka ba. There's a woman that's online right now. You have a child that is 13 years and she's having a growth on the side of her of her breast. You have a 13-year-old child with a growth on her breast. Now listen to me. I'm praying over you right now. But take that child, let them remove the growth. Don't be scared. Nothing will happen to your child. Take your child and let them remove the growth. I come out right now. Let the body be totally restored in the precious name of Jesus. Please, 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 please. Take the child and let them remove the growth. Take the child and let them remove the growth. Take the child and let them remove the growth. I'm not speaking to you out of 
uh, faithlessness and speaking a direction from the Lord. Take the child, let them remove the growth. Nothing will happen to your child. Take the child, let them remove the growth early. Nothing will happen to your child. I come against poverty. I come against joblessness. Somebody, the job you did, this is 13 months that owing you. God is commanding them to pay you under pressure right now. Under pressure right now. Under pressure right now. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. Makopele Prokotuha. Jikaka Krakataya. Kombro Entraboskia. God is breaking the power of evil cycles. You just have these repeat experiences every November. It just happens every November. And you are scared already. The devil is telling you it's going to happen. And you are seeing signs of it already. But in the name of Jesus, you are not going to have that attack again. The power of God defend you. The mercy of God speak over you. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. I see the healing of a marriage right now. I see the healing of a marriage right now. Makobe ekroto ejakata ikapa. Za ambroko soho. The help of God look at you. The mercy of God look at you. The grace of God look at you. In the precious holy name of Jesus. You are blessed in Jesus name. Okay. Now wherever you are. It's time right now. On this altar of mercy, for us to talk about the prayer request that you have sent. So everywhere you are, I want us to begin now to pray over those requests. Okay? I'm looking at the prayer request. Okolo Prince said, pray for me. I've been having difficulties in breathing and currently I'm taking allergy injection every week. I snow so loud when I sleep because of that. I use mouth guard in order to sleep. Okolo Kenechuku Prince. Can you stand up where you are now? Stand up where you are now. Lay your two hands on your chest. Lay your two hands on your chest. Breathing very deeply. Breathing very deeply. Li koba dali prokoso. Breathe it out. Lay your hand on your chest. I didn't say remove it. Breathing again very deeply. Breathe it out again. Kenechuku, hear me. Lay your hand on your chest the third time. Breathe in very deeply. Breathe out. Jesus, in your name, I proclaim Kenechuku's healing. And everyone with asthma, everyone with breathing difficulties, Everyone we grow in their nostrils, lungs, problems, whatever. Now be set free by the hand of the resurrected Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ma ambrokoto. Ji inkrekete reboskia. Ji gagabala brakata reboskia. Ibaka kapala broko treboskia. Ji inkrekete reboskia. Ma ankrakata reboskia. Ja gabala broko zoko broko treboskia. Ji inkrekete rikoto kakata kakata kakata. Ma ankrakata reboskia. Ji inkrekete reboskia. A take a judge said, pray for me. My junior brother has gone for oppression three times on the same growth and now the growth has come again. Please pray for the growth to melt like wax and never again to surface. It take care if you are with your brother. 
Take a little bit of the communion and rub on that growth. Can you lift up the communion where you are? And I want to pray on the authority of Jesus. That's why the blood is going to speak now. There's an atmosphere of mercy where your brother is. Three times he has had the surgery. Three times he has repeated. Now lift up the blood. If there's anybody that is having a growth and you want to join, lift up the blood. If you can't find communion, lift up oil or lift up water. If there's anything that has been repeating in your life, lift it up now. God of mercy. The Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The one that opened this channel and put me to pastor it. I'm asking today that you will extend your mercy to take a judge and speak over the junior brother. And over everyone that is watching who is connecting to this prophetic instruction, let there be immediate healing. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command, let the growth disappear. Let the power of hell be cut off. In the name of Jesus.